Hi, my name is Ofra Kula, and I'm a PhD student in Ben Gurion University, Israel. I'd like to tell you about my paper. Uh, my colleagues and I wrote Dr. Ben Shachar, Dr. Eran Bar Khalifa, and Rov Machluf about therapists' interventions in emotion focused therapy for couples. In EFT, the primary assumption involves that one partner reveals vulnerable emotion and need, and the other partner responds compassionately. We hypothesize that this process is fundamental in changing the emotional atmosphere between couples and interrupts the ongoing maladaptive cycle, creates a more secure relational bond. Therefore, helping both partners access and reveal their underlying primary vulnerable emotions and learn to respond to one another's vulnerable emotions in an empathic, supportive, validating, and compassionate way is crucial for relationship repair. During sessions, therapists first validate secondary emotions, such as anger and frustration, and then help each partner to access, experience, and reveal their underlying vulnerability, such as fear, sadness, or shame, as well as their need for closeness, validation, and acceptance. Such unguarded revealing tends to elicit a compassionate response from one partner to the other. So revealing vulnerability and subsequent compassionate responding are central changes in EFT. And several studies have shown that such, such sharing and compassionate responding predict favorable outcomes, such as increased levels of trust and connection between partners and overall relationship satisfaction. Our study's goal was to examine the assumption that vulnerability expression and compassionate responding predict change. We focused on therapists' perspective regarding their interventions during a given session and examined how these interventions predicted partners' experience of resolution following the session. We analyzed data from the York Emotional Injury Project led by Professor Leslie Greenberg, where couples received 12 sessions of EFT after dealing with emotional injury, such as an affair. Our primary findings revealed that when therapists reported using interventions that promote acceptance of shared vulnerability in a given session, both partners, the sharing and the listening partner, reported higher resolution levels following the session. That is, partners were better able to let go of their unresolved feelings towards each other. They felt more compassion and understanding, were less troubled by their unresolved feelings and felt more forgiveness. In other words, our results suggest that interventions that facilitate responsiveness team, seem to be particularly meaningful in this process. From a clinical point of view, therapists working with couples should promote acceptance of vulnerability shared in a session, not less than the promotion of vulnerability itself. For example, after one partner has shared the vulnerable feelings such as shame or loneliness, the therapist should then turn to the listening partner and explore their gut level emotional response. What do you feel in your stomach right now as she says this? In such an excellent episode, therapists can help the listening partner access, label, and express compassionate feelings towards the sharing partner and then explore what is it like to receive compassion. Unfortunately, in many instances, partners find it difficult to respond with compassion to their partner's vulnerability. And this is particularly challenging for therapists as the revealing partner has taken a significant risk exposing vulnerability and then remains alone and invalidated which often leads to the inflaming of the maladaptive cycle in the session yet again. When such blocks are activated in a session, therapists can try to address them by validating how difficult it was for the revealing partner to share vulnerable emotions unguardedly 
and not to get a supportive response. And also explore with a listening partner the difficulties in hearing the partner's pain. More on how to deal with these emotional blocks will be expanded in another study. Thanks for watching this, and I hope you find our paper interesting.